வணக்கம் மைக்ரோ சர்ஜரி இஸ் ஃபேசினேட்டிங் அண்ட் சக்ஸஸ்ஃபுல் ரிசல்ட்ஸ் இன் மைக்ரோ சர்ஜரி ஆர் ஸோ சாட்டிஸ்ஃபைங் நாட் ஓன்லி ஃபார் த பேஷண்ட் அண்ட் த சர்ஜன் பட் தி என்டையர் சர்ஜிக்கல் டீம் அண்ட் ஹவு டு வி அச்சீவ் திஸ் சக்ஸஸ் இன் மைக்ரோ சர்ஜரி தெர் இஸ் அ வார் சேயிங் தட் சேஸ் த விக்டோரியஸ் வாரியர் வின்ஸ் த பேட்டில் பிஃபோர் கோயிங் டு வார் ஸோ த மந்த்ரா ஃபார் சக்ஸஸ் in any surgery for that matter and more specifically micro surgery is preparation whether it is an experienced micro surgeon going in for his routine micro surgical case or a novice just going in to do his or her maiden micro surgical procedure or even a resident preparing for the next day's micro surgical procedure it is important that preparations are made well in advance and when we talk about preparations we need to talk about the rule of four a very simple way to remember and keep in mind the important things that should be taken care of before going in for the actual micro surgical procedure this video is going to be a primer or a checklist for anyone who is going to do micro surgery the key word for success in micro surgery is preparation and preparation not just during the surgery but in many many other aspects undergoing a structured training program in the technical aspects of micro surgery is just one of these preparations the surgeon should be prepared by a thorough clinical examination of the patient and adequate planning prepared by ordering relevant investigations and interpreting the results of these investigations prepared by informing the patient adequately and getting a good informed consent prepared by scheduling the procedure correctly at a convenient time keeping in mind that the procedure may take long hours and prepared by setting up the operation theater beforehand it is this preparation in the operation theater that we are going to talk about in this video we need to remember here that we may not be doing micro surgical procedures in the same theater with the same personnel and the same equipments all the time we may have to operate in different theaters with different personnel with different staff nurses and with different set of instruments or equipments that may be available so we need to have a checklist to make sure that everything is in place before we go and do the micro surgery and for this checklist we have six points to be noted and we need to confirm the availability of a well equipped operation theater the availability of adequate personnel availability of basic equipments availability of micro instruments suture materials and adequate assisting tables but these criteria appear to be a little vague we need more clarity in this and that is where the rule of four comes in there are four basic necessities in any operation theater to carry out a micro surgical procedure comfortably the first is the availability of good theater lights these should be shadowless and should not generate a lot of heat and of course they must be easy to adjust the ability to control the temperature in the operation theater is very important if it is too cold there is going to be a spasm of the vessels if it is too warm it is going to cause an uncomfortable environment for the surgical procedure some ot's may have stools with wheels or just sitting chairs ideal would be a stool with three legs which are stable and give the surgeon stability while performing the very precise micro surgical maneuvers so this is the third point in the rule of four that must be checked for in an operation theater and the fourth rule is that we need to confirm the availability of an adjustable hydraulic operating table that will make surgery comfortable the next important entity to confirm is the availability of personnel and as always the rule of four entails that we have four categories of personnel available the most important person required is the anesthesiologist who is aware of the microsurgical procedure and aware of the long hours 
that the surgery may entail and the problems that can occur. The next important person required is the surgeon who is going to assist at the microsurgery. Invaluable when performing a microsurgical procedure are a trained staff nurse and a circulating nurse. Just these three categories of people are not enough to carry out a microsurgical procedure comfortably. We need an OT technician or OT assistant to help with the procedure. Their availability must also be confirmed and ensured. That completes the four categories of personnel we require for a microsurgical procedure. The OT may look modern, but we need to confirm the availability of four basic equipment before we carry out a microsurgery there. The first is the availability of a good anesthesia workstation. The anesthetist would definitely take care of this, but it is very important because the patient has to be monitored continuously during the procedure and altered hemodynamic status of the patient can have adverse results of the microsurgical procedure. The second point to confirm is the availability of magnification equipment which are basic to any microsurgical procedure. An operating microscope and surgical loops with a magnification of more than 3x would be ideal and should be available. Prolonged hours of surgery in an air conditioned theatre may cause the patient to go into hypothermia. This should be avoided at all costs since it is risky both to the life of the patient and the results of the microsurgery. A patient warmer must be available to keep the patient warm and the circulation intact. And the fourth equipment to be confirmed is the availability of a safe and effective electrocautery apparatus. Confirming the availability of microinstruments is absolutely essential before going in for the procedure. And we need to confirm the availability of basically four microinstruments. The first requirement will be two pairs of micro forceps or jeweler's forceps. To see the details regarding these micro instruments, kindly click on the icon above. The next would be the requirement of micro scissors, both curved and straight. The third would be the requirement of a micro needle holder. And finally, and finally the need for a micro vessel dilator. Apart from these four basic micro instruments, the availability of a set of soft clamps must be confirmed. The availability of micro suture materials are as important as the availability of the micro instruments. And we are thinking of four basic suture materials that should be available for any type of microvascular surgery. The first is 8-0 polyamide, next 9-0 polyamide and 10-0 polyamide. The important thing to note here is the quality of the needle, the thickness of the needle and the character of the tip. It should be round bodied micro point needle. It is always important to verify whether the required micro sutures are available in the theater before going for the surgery. There are many other types of needles. For example, spatulated needle which may not be ideal for a microvascular repair. In some cases where a super micro surgery is planned, a 11-0 or 12-0 suture material may be required and should be made ready. Having set up a good operating theater and having made ready the micro instruments and micro suture materials is not enough. Then in the theater, before the surgery starts, it is important to get the assisting tables ready. And when we talk of assisting tables, Again, the rule of four is important. We need to remember four important points. The first table that should be made ready is the basic instruments table. The second table that should be made ready is the micro instruments table. This table must be a totally different table and none of the general instruments must be placed on this table. This will contain the micro instruments placed on a moist pad and the clamps placed in a cup containing heparin saline. The background material is also placed on this table. The third table that is made ready is the accessories table. For instance, if bone surgery is required, the bone instruments are placed on this table. And finally, we need to prepare some solutions which are going to be used in microsurgery to assist 
the smooth flow of the procedure. And there are four important solutions to be prepared and we shall also mention the syringes that must be used. This is important because if there is a change in the nurse, the nurse will be aware of what the solution is in the cup since all the solutions look the same. The first solution to be prepared is the Tumism solution. This solution is prepared in a large bowl and a 20 ml syringe is placed in this cup. This solution is prepared in 500 ml of Ringer's lactate by adding 30 ml of 2% lignocaine, 1 ml of 1 in 1000 adrenaline and 10 ml of 7.5% soda bicarb. The second cup contains normal saline and this is identified by the 10 ml syringe that is placed in it. The third cup contains heparin saline and identified by a 5 ml syringe that is placed in it. This is prepared by adding 5000 international units of heparin in 500 ml of normal saline. We need to remember that different departments and institutions have their own personalized protocols. But it is mandatory that whatever the solution is used must be prepared beforehand. The final solution that is prepared and kept ready is the lignocaine solution and it is identified by a 2 ml syringe placed in the cup. It is prepared by adding 30 ml of 2% plain lignocaine with 30 ml of distilled water. Now that was an elaborate list. Let us now make it simpler. There are six main areas where we need to make preparations before going in for a microsurgery. The first is the operation theatre. It must have good lights, a good temperature conditioning, a comfortable stool to sit in and a hydraulic table which will be comfortable for performing the surgery. As far as the personnel who are required, we first need to have an anesthetist who is aware of the microsurgical procedure, an assisting surgeon, a trained staff nurse and circulating nurse, an OT technician or OT assistant. As far as the equipment is concerned, an anesthesia workstation to monitor the patient, an operating microscope or surgical loops, a patient warmer, and electrocautery machine. When arranging for the micro instruments, the basic micro forceps, micro needle holder, micro vessel dilator, and micro scissors and soft clamps are important. And as far as suture materials is concerned, we need to make sure that 8-0 polyamide, 9-0 polyamide, 10-0 polyamide, and in some cases, 11-0 or 12-0 suture may be needed. In getting the assisting tables ready, a basic instruments table, a micro instruments table, an accessories table and it is important to prepare the solutions with the pre-designated syringes and keep ready. When all these preparations have been done, the microsurgical procedure is bound to be smooth with a higher chance of success. I hope you liked the video. I enjoyed making it. Please click on the shown links to see the new sessions that are up in GK Hand Surgery and do not forget to subscribe to keep connected with the latest in learning hand surgery and plastic surgery. Manakkam.